welcome to the 50th episode of Recluse Horror. This is a daily horror movie review podcast. So just a little background on the project. Uh, Back on my birthday in April of last year, I decided I wanted to watch and review a horror movie every single day. I have done so for the past 317 days. So ordinarily on episodes, I talk about two movies, one of which I've watched that very night, and another that I've reviewed previously in text. Um, other than the last 50 reviews, all of my reviews were in text. So, um, But uh, I'm running into time constraints as to when uh, it's going to be... I, when I'm going to be able to record. I only have a very short window. So today I'm just going to be talking about the one movie uh, again, like yesterday, for different reasons. Um, so I apologize for that. It is the 50th episode, so I feel like I should have demarked it a little bit and sort of planned something, but I'm just, uh, I, I, I'm in this mode where I, I'm trying to focus on my work right now, uh, my, my real job that pays me money and, uh, uh, all of that stuff. And it's, uh, it, it you know, and I also have, you know, a thousand roommates. So uh, sometimes it's hard to find time where it's going to be quiet and there aren't going to be people around and and everything. So that's what I'm working with. I'm doing the best I can. So uh, today I watched The Moonlight Man from 2016. Uh, this is a horror short by Danny Donahue. Uh, now, uh, this one's fairly popular. I think it had somewhere around 2.2 million views. So, uh, you know, if you if you're into short horror films, you've, you've undoubtedly seen it come up before, um, you know, in your lists or something like that, if you've been looking for short horror films or you've heard the title thrown around. And it's, uh, it was pretty interesting. Um, if I didn't know there was a sequel, I think I would, my, my feelings about it might be a, a bit different than they actually are, but I do know that there's a sequel out already. Um, this one was under, I think, I want to say it was two minutes and 46 seconds, which is very, very short. Um, I'm not positive that's the correct number, but it's probably somewhere in there. I know it's under three minutes. So, uh, it was, it was pretty impressive considering that basically the Moonlight Man is about, uh, a woman who is walking to her car when she sees a monster, essentially. And, uh, that's, that's as much as I can tell you. And even that's kind of a spoiler. So, uh, yeah, I don't know. It's, I, I thought it was pretty good. Um, there's no lore. They don't explain anything about the Moonlight Man, what he is or what it is or whatever, unfortunately, which would normally tick me off a little bit. I wouldn't expect them to be able to do that in the three minutes, you know, that, that they were given there. But, uh, I, I, I still sort of, uh, I still sort of would have expected something. Um, otherwise you run into this whole situation of like, yeah, but what what happened in it? Um, this one's definitely not as bad as I. There's another one that that I I know I've mentioned by name called She, which is much longer than this one and also gives no details, um, and and tries to build in like characters that you don't care about and so forth. I'm not reviewing She. I don't know why I'm talking about She. Anyway, this one this one also doesn't give you any lore. Doesn't tell you anything about the monster, the creature that she has encountered. But uh, this one has much more of an excuse because of the length. Uh, It is uh, 2.43. So two minutes and 43 seconds. Um, This is a pretty good one. Um, The production value is pretty high. um, Other than the lighting is a little bit bright, which uh, it's brighter than would be natural uh, under the circumstances. Uh, It's it's fine. It's not really a problem at all. Um, I just happened to pick up on it and I thought it was really weird just how floodlighty everything looked the the acting was fairly decent uh there's really only the the actress and the monster in this one and uh it does it does a it does a pretty good job of of making you believe what's happening um the actor the or sorry the character actually reacts pretty appropriately to the situation that she's in actually which uh for for the, for the most part which i i did like uh that's something that is sometimes very lacking in horror movies so Uh, Yeah, I I, I did like that. Again, I personally would have liked some lore. I'm hoping that the sequel, Moonlight Man 2, will have some of that, and I will likely watch that one tomorrow. Um, If Sam is on tomorrow, I don't know if he's going to, then I'll probably have him watch both, and we can talk about both. It's not really, you know, a big trouble for that, you know, the extra three minutes or something. So I'm not sure whether, whether he'll be able to come by tomorrow or not. 
But uh, yeah, I don't know. I, 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 I did like this one. The ending is much stronger than I felt halfway through. I felt like they weren't getting anywhere and nothing... Not really that nothing was happening, but just that, like, I I couldn't see them getting out of this in a way that was sort of interesting. But I actually thought it it was pretty interesting, um, uh, the way way they ended it. It's definitely, I think, the strongest part of the story is sort of how it ends. It it was, I I won't say that it was unexpected, but but the way visually that it played out was very nice. Uh, Now, one thing that is, I, I don't know whether I feel like I should note it or not, but... I don't know if this character is supposed to be in any way related to uh, Gerald's Game, uh, which is a Stephen King story that was turned... Well, it was a novel, actually full novel, uh, that, w- that was turned into a movie for Netflix recently. There's a character in that that's called the Moonlight Man. I don't know whether this character or anything is supposed to be sort of an extension of that lore, or if they just really liked the name and took it, or if they were just completely unaware of that character, uh, which is totally possible as well, Gerald's Game not being one of his more commonly cited novels or anything um, and came up with it on their own. I, I, I'd be really interested to, to hear from the, the filmmakers, whether there actually was uh, any kind of uh, correlation between the two stories and, and uh, where that lies. But, but um, you know, if there is a direct correlation, I suppose I might find it in Moonlight Man too. So um, it could be a complete coincidence and just, you know, how you end up with seven bands with the same name that are from, you know, there's like, you know, one is from the UK and one is from New Jersey and one is whatever. It just sometimes it happens. People come up with the same stuff. Yeah. Again, I, I've mentioned on many, many other episodes that I do really enjoy lore and it's too bad that was there wasn't any built in here. But given the length, uh, I, I'm even surprised that they were able to make any kind of an interesting piece out of this. And they really did. Um, if you have you know, almost three minutes and you, you know, want to, you just need a horror fix. This is not a bad way to go. Again, high production value, pretty good acting. Um, and the, uh, effects in it are pretty good. I was pretty impressed with the effects. The cam, there was a, there a couple, I think of, of good camera angles. I don't have a specific memory of them. Cause I think I was trying to focus on what was happening. There were a few, just a, just a couple that were like, Oh, okay. It's not just going to be dead on the whole time you know, very straightforward camera angles, but, but, uh, yeah, I don't know. They definitely, there's a few f- shots that are framed very well, uh, in this. Um, so I apologize if I am just rapidly spitting out all of this information in weird orders to you, but again, uh, there are time constraints and I think I'm going to call that good. This has got to be the very shortest episode that I have had. And I, uh, again, I'm sorry for that, but you know, for all those people listening daily, I'm sure it's, uh, <laughs> I'm sure it's not really, all, all those people. The for the one person listening daily, I'm I'm sure he'll he'll get over it. And uh, yeah, so I guess that's all um, that I really have to say. Again, that's the Moonlight Man from 2016, and you can find that on the Danny Donahue YouTube page. Uh, I do not, unfortunately, have time to look up any information about him or anything else that he's done, or or the the actor who's in this. Um, uh, shamefully, I I just do not have the time. Um, I'm going to lose my recording, uh, my ability to record very, very soon. So happy 50th episode to me, I guess. I I will try to demark the 100th episode a little better. It's going to, that's way, way in the future, but uh, hopefully I'll be able to do something fun for it. I, I actually do have a couple of plans for that, even though it's, you know, way, way out in the future. But uh, yeah. Um, if you enjoyed this episode, please uh, rate, review, subscribe, comment, whatever it is on whatever place that you found us. The best thing you can do to help out the show is to share this with someone that you love or that uh, you think would be interested in uh, in the show for whatever reason, you know, just a horror fan or a podcast fan. If the person that you're trying to share this with doesn't have the same platform that you use, or if you don't like the platform that you are using currently, we are available on YouTube, Player FM, Stitcher, Apple Podcasts, Podcast Addict, and pretty much any podcatcher out there, so you can send them our way that way. If you'd like to reach out to us on social media, uh, you can do so on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, uh, and uh, I'm at Recluse Horror on all of those, so no spaces, nothing, just Recluse Horror. And uh, I would love to hear from you. Uh, so, yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Uh Sorry about the short episode for the 50th time I've said that. And uh, good night. Good night.